The diagnosis of schizophrenia includes more than or equal to two of the following, and you need to at least have one of the first three symptoms. The first three symptoms are delusions, hallucinations, and disorganized speech. The rest are disorganized or catatonic behavior or negative symptoms like having apathy or very flat affect. Now these patients will have continuous impairment for more than or equal to six months and they will also show significant functional decline. The treatment for schizophrenia is antipsychotic medication. On top of that, it's important for patients to have adjunctive psychosocial interventions such as cognitive behavioral therapy, family intervention, or social skills training. Now let's talk about what happens if I have a patient with these symptoms but they're under the age of 18. This is called early onset schizophrenia and it's associated with much more severe course of illness. For this early onset schizophrenia, the patients can present for weeks and years of a prodromal phase. This is with social withdrawal or academic decline before even having any psychotic symptoms whatsoever. When it comes to these younger patients, having hallucinations is more frequent than having delusions. Delusions are a collection of fixed false beliefs not attributable to a patient's culture or religion that are maintained despite being contradicted by reality or very rational arguments. They can either be be bizarre or non-bizarre, and these delusions can be considered either bizarre or non-bizarre. Hallucinations aren't classically always auditory or visual, they can also be tactile. Youthful patients with schizophrenia frequently will name their hallucinations, and imaginary friends will typically decline in prevalence for your patients around the age of 6, and these are not associated with schizophrenia's functional decline. There's also personality disorders that you have to think about as a differential diagnosis. Now if your patient only has social detachment, you can start thinking about schizoid, schizoid personality disorder. This is when patients have decreased emotion and affect, and in schizotypal personality disorder, patients have deficits in social interaction together with eccentric behavior, very odd beliefs, and even idiosyncratic thought and speech patterns such as using metaphorical or over-elaborative language. And in contrast to early onset schizophrenia, these personality disorders are not typically diagnosed in youth while people's personalities are still still in development. We can talk more about the Cluster A personality disorders in a different video.